Hi there! So let's start testing this product. So it is from Sai. It is the Glowy Super Skin Lightweight Luminous Foundation. It is... The packaging is recyclable, so definitely recycle your packaging, the outer packaging and the inner packaging. I think normally the pumps are something that you cannot recycle or you put them separately but the bottle is definitely recyclable and the outer packaging all of these are recyclable the packaging is always very simple it's glass with black over here and yeah it's it's pretty it's so simple and elegant and it has a frosted bottle this comes with one ounce product that's 30 ml and i have it in the shade 16 16 i think it's a warm undertone it's 16 it's not mentioned here but when i was picking it up from sephora i'm pretty sure it was 16 warm 16 w i'll check the shade again it is not mentioned anywhere here but i did read on the sci website itself along with the name it's mentioned it's a weightless hydro browns serum foundation so this gives a very luminous radiant finish it is very lightweight it has a serum like texture and it's really hydrating and the ingredients also work to brighten your skin so yeah so this has oh i just took the product directly but because this has a lot of skincare ingredients it is made with 80 percent skincare ingredients and 15 percent weightless pigments so whenever you have skincare uh, in your product in a foundation the pigments and the skincare normally tend to separate so it's always good to shake your foundation and even if it's called a serum foundation you always have to shake your foundation so shake 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 and now let's take a pump see there was a lot of difference earlier it was too liquidy and now it is liquidy but not as liquidy as it was before so I don't have any primer underneath because I have my skincare done and I also read about it because it's a serum foundation it does not require a primer so we are just gonna go with this it is mentioned medium coverage so this is the side with the foundation and this is the bare face it looks a bit lighter and I remember the the person at Sephora, she did tell me that normally the shades, it looks a bit lighter as soon as you wear it, but it, it doesn't oxidize, but it takes a little bit time to blend into your skin and match your skin properly. And that is why I chose the shade 16W. And I'm, I think this is medium tan. Normally I go for a medium to medium shade with golden undertones. But this is medium tan and it still looks a little bit light. So let's see if it blends into my skin in some time. But I just used half a pump for one side. So we're going to use the other half on the other side. You know for a medium coverage foundation I'm really impressed the way it is looking on my skin right now. And uh, let me take a closer look. I need to clean my mirror <laughs> it's all messy it's not leaving any brush strokes I do see my hyperpigmentation my hyperpigmentation is peeking through but yeah it's giving a very natural finish but still it is giving me a little bit of radiance you can see the radiance and that is from the foundation I haven't used any primer or anything as such I'm just worried that it's looking so light on my skin and I hope it blends into my skin in some time. So all we need to do is wait and watch. So let me do my full face of makeup. Before that, let me show you a close up. So this is how my skin looks right now. I don't know, I don't feel like doing another layer. See, I have acne and I have a lot of dark spots over here, but it is not peeking through. So it is giving a little bit of coverage and I'm sure if you build it up, it would cover it cover it a little bit more but I think this coverage is more than enough for me I want it to look very natural so so far I like the way it is looking just the shade is throwing me off but let's wait and watch let me do my full face of makeup and I'll be right back okie dokie I am back with my full face of makeup and oh my god I love the way it is looking I'm wearing a little bit of highlighter because I 
I just had to add a little bit of highlighter because to oomph the effect. But oh my god, I love the pop of color that I took with this no makeup makeup look. I've just used, I don't know, I feel my makeup has come out so perfect. So it's a no makeup makeup look, but I just tried to give it a pop of color so that it looks like you've done something, <laughs> put some effort. But oh my god, the foundation looks amazing. I can see, I can see a little bit of my scars here. I can see my mole. So definitely my skin is peeking through. All my imperfections are peeking through. But at the same time, it has given me a very blurred skin, a little bit of radiance. And I can't say a baby-like skin, but somewhat like a baby-like skin. It looks, it looks really plump and I think that is what they were talking about. I did not understand what they were talking about because they were saying it was, it'll give you a hydrating and yet a plumping effect on your skin. So I don't know if I told you this but this comes in 36 different shades and it retails for $40 and it gives it a radiant finish. It is hydrating. It is record formula. It is a medium coverage definitely and you can build it up. This is just one layer. Do not forget that. And if I go to the ingredients, yeah. So it has sugar derived squalene, which is lightweight mega moisturizer. So it helps to lock in your moisture. And it has polyglutamic acid that delivers immediate and long-term plumping benefits to the skin. So I seriously, I can feel, I can't feel the plumping effect, like how you feel it on your lips, but I can definitely see there's some sort of difference in my skin. When I'm looking at it today and I think that is the plump if, plumping effect because as I told you it's giving me a baby like skin look which I'm really loving I'm really loving it and it has a hydro bounce complex which is a mixture of the hydration and the plumping effect and that is they have two three ingredients which is do you want me to read it out no I don't want to bore you with the ingredients it's something that I can't even pronounce so yeah, I, I really love the way it is looking. This is so lightweight and it feels like nothing on the skin. It even looks like nothing on the skin. So I don't think I'm gonna have a problem with it moving around or doing a touch up. So I think it's like a perfect moisturizer that gives you radiance, glow, a little bit of brightness and also a little bit of coverage. And now the plumping effect too. <laughs> All right, I have mature skin and it is still looking amazing. For the radiance that it has, it is not emphasizing any of my textures. And in fact, it is giving me a very blurred effect and it looks so pretty. So I love this product. A total thumbs up from my side. If you have been eyeing it, definitely give it a try and let me know how you liked it because everyone's skin is different. Maybe it worked on my skin, it doesn't work for you, but do let me know what skin type you have and how you felt about it. I would definitely like to know that. So that is it from my side. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching till the end and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.